Hello. Well, in this tutorial, we're gonna do, let's say, the, the ribbing. It's worked with half double crochet. And if you want to make a hat or, you know, you work for a sweater at the wrist, you know, like uh, like here, you can, uh, you know, do that. Or any project if you like to do with this uh, this stitch. It's reversible, the same both sides. Again, this stitch, it doesn't matter how many chains you're going to put, even odd, it's up to you. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to skip the first chain. In the second, we're going to do a half double crochet. In each chain, we're going to do half double crochets. And it's very easy, especially if you like to, to do hats. And the way I do it is just the hat is just a big rectangle. You flip it over and you sew one uh, close one side and then the top of the hat. And when you do like with the ribbing, you attach the, the yarn only on the ribbing, the ridges, let's say. So in each chain, we're doing half double crochet. Okay, now we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna start the first stitch. Well, usually with the half double crochet we go underneath the stitch, we have the two V's here. But in this case, we're gonna, underneath the, the stitch, it's this line here, this one. So, yarn over the hook, we're gonna go underneath that line pull up a loop and then do the half double crochet. Then again we're gonna move to the next stitch and again the line. We're not working into the stitch here. We're working you know behind this this line. So you insert your hook under that line, pull up a loop and then do the half double crochet. And again move to the next stitch, you have this line, the horizontal line, let's say, and you insert your hook underneath that. The stitch is right here, so we don't work into the stitch. Pull up a loop and do the half double crochet. And we move to the next stitch, is this line here. So you go in there, pull up a loop and do the half double crochet. Move to the next stitch and the line is right here. So you go underneath that line, pull up a loop and do the half double crochet. So you move to the next stitch. Yeah, it's very easy and gives you that uh, ribbing effect. So the next stitch is here, you go underneath. Yeah, with this one you're going to have to be a little bit careful with the last, uh, I would say the last one, because that one it's a little bit, so the next stitch it's here, the line it's right here, you go underneath that line and do the half double crochet. Then in here you might not be able to see in this one, but you have three lines. The next row you're gonna see it, but it's the one in the middle, you know, it's this one. Otherwise, if you don't pick up this one, the work, well, it's going to shrink. So you do the half double crochet, chain one, and it's already, it formed this, uh, this ribbing, arrows, whatever. Okay, the first stitch is here, and you have this line there. So we go underneath that line, pick up a loop, and do the half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch, and you have this line here and you pull up a loop and do the half double crochet. Next stitch is here, the line it's right here. So you go underneath that and you do the half double crochet, yarn over the hook and you move to the next stitch and so on. Well it's not, well the stitch it's right here on top but underneath the, the stitch is this line here. 
So you're gonna have to go underneath that, pick up a loop, do the half double crochet. Move to the next stitch and so on. It's very, very easy and it's easy to, to pick up the, uh, to go underneath that, uh, that line. Move to the next stitch and so on. So the next stitch it's here, yarn over the hook, you go underneath this line, pick up a loop, do the half double crochet. And now you have one at the end, one, two and three. Each way, left to right, it doesn't matter how you, you're gonna count or whatever, but it's the one in the middle, it's this one. And sometimes this one is stubborn, it's like picking up, picking her up from, you know, by the ears. Pull up a loop and do the half double crochet. Chain one, and you, you're gonna have on each side this, uh, let's say, the V's, and this side you have the V's. So now, the first stitch is here, you go underneath this line, this one. Pull up a loop and then do the half double crochet. Move to the next stitch, the stitch is on top here, but the line is underneath the, the stitch. So you go in there, insert your hook, pull up a loop, do the half double crochet, and so on. Well, it's nice to, to do this if you do a sweater like the neckline or the you know, with the wrist to, to close, to finish. So you do like this. The next stitch, you go underneath that line, do the half double crochet. Okay, so the next stitch is here, the line it's this one. So you go underneath that line pull up a loop and do the half double crochet. And again, at the end, you have here three of them. One, two, and three. So the one in the middle, yeah? The second one each side you're gonna count. So you go in there, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and do the half double crochet, chain one, and you go again. So on, you have two on each, you know, the next one you're gonna do the second ribbing here. So again, the first stitch is here, we're going to work underneath this line. Yarn over the hook, go underneath that line, pull up a loop, and then do a half double crochet. And so on. It's very, very easy, well, relaxing in a way. It's easy to, to pick up the, to go underneath that, uh, that line. And you do like this. And you have on each side that uh, ribbing, that ridge, or whatever is that. So you do like this. So the next stitch is here, you go underneath that line, and so on. Well, I think you got the idea. The next stitch is here, so you go underneath this line. And again you reach the end, you have three, you know, one, two, and three. The one in the middle, you know, and sometimes that's gonna be stubborn. Chain one and so on. So you have two on each side. It looks like this. Yeah, it's very easy, especially for a, to do a fast hat, or even a scarf, or a cowl, or infinity scarf. I think it looks nice. So, well, give it a try. You might enjoy this stitch. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.